Alright, so I'm gonna be going over how hard some of the pizza tower bosses were to P rank. And yes, I have played this game before, so you don't need to see me play, play or maybe you do. So subscribe if you want to see that. Anyway, so I'm gonna be ranking all the bosses from easiest to hardest. Note, I am not ranking how hard the bosses are, I am ranking how hard they are to P rank. Which is kind of the same thing, but still, hear me out here. Anyway, so basically you get the idea by now, bosses easiest to hardest P rank run, yeah, three. This isn't some generic like, hey, this was my, this, this was my, this is how hard the bosses are. This is my opinion on how these are my experiences of how hard these bosses would be right now for me. Anyway, yeah, for me. So, so this is an epic gameplay video. So, I'll just be ranking them now. If, if you enjoyed the list, subscribe. Please, it really helps the channel out a lot. Please, we're really close to 10 subs. Number 5, we have Mr. Peppy Boy, aka Pepper Man. He was the easiest boss for me to P rank due to him, his attacks being extremely easy to dodge and predictable. He'll first start off with a dash that will that will be completely easy, that will be very easy to avoid. Once you get him down a bit more health though, he'll switch to a different strategy, which is running and turning. That's pretty cool. Then after that, he'll change his strategy again by trying to crush you. Then after that, he'll try and crush you, but then jump around the place, making it harder for you to hit him, but you can hit him pretty easily if you use that one Then finally, for his last strategy, you have to break our arc sculptors in order to to hit him because when he charges he won't do the flashy thing and then this and then there's a second phase which basically you have to do it all over again but it's harder and there's a new added gimmick too because statues coming out from the wall oh and did i forget to mention that the statues rain from the ceiling Ah uh, yes, that's a pretty forgettable mechanic, isn't it? And also minions come up from the side every once in a while. That's also very forgettable. The only thing notable in this fight for me is the statues that come out of the side, and that's it. All the other attacks are extremely easy to dodge and predictable. So you'll be able to P-rank this guy, no problem. But if you're a beginner and you're starting out, make sure not to let your guard down. Because he can be pretty tough when you first try to P-rank him. I certainly had a tough time first tr trying to P-rank him for the first time. But I eventually got his patterns down and he'll, he'll, once you get his patterns down, he'll be dead in no time. So don't worry about a thing you're trying to mess up his patterns once you get the patterns down. Watch your YouTube videos, watch your everything. Okay. Now on to number four. Coming in at number 4, we have the noise. Now the reason why the noise is harder than Pepper Man is because due to Pepper Man's being easy to dodge and predictable and having the same pattern every time, noise's patterns are extremely unpredictable. So yeah, that's what makes him different from Pepper Man. Although he's, he may be harder than Pepper Man for a few reasons, but he's not as hard as the other bosses on this list. Due to if you memorize his patterns enough, you'll eventually get it down and eventually beat him eventually. So first, so first phase he starts off with any random attack he wants, which is either bombs, a pogo stick, a charge attack, and a skateboard. If I'm forgetting something, please tell me in the comments below. After you defeat him, he'll enter his second phase which he will then spice up the attacks a bit. This time with the stuff being harder, because like if he does the dash, he'll then explode and he'll be vulnerable for three seconds. Vulnerable less than the first time. If he's doing the pogo stick, he will he will bounce for a bit, then after bouncing around for the bit to the other side of the stage, he'll pull out like some death pogo stick or something and create a massive shockwave 
which is actually pretty hard to dodge. Got me a few times. When he does the bomb thing again, he will he will shoot down bombs, but when he jumps out, he'll explode himself, and then he'll try to drop down on you again. Like the footage here. And and yeah, and the skateboard. You can just easily dodge the skateboard, but the twist is he'll he'll kick the skateboard when you find when you he'll kick the skateboard forcing you back. So yeah. Nothing of note for him. So I guess we can just move on to number three. And number three is actually way, way harder. Trust me. Okay, now moving on to an actually hard boss, Fake Pepino. Which, he is actually kind of hard, but not as hard as the rest. Just don't worry about this. So, what he'll do first phase is that he'll try and grab you, but it's more of a noticeable wind-up, so it's probably easy to dodge. Then he'll do a jump, which has a wind-up too. You can hit him when he does the wind-up. And you can just stay in the middle while the frogs jump, I guess. Then you'll enter another thing where you'll just run all crazy up the walls and stuff. You can hit him the first time when he's starting to run. Then when the clones come out, they'll start dropping on you. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. But that attack is actually hard. You can parry the clones while they're falling down, it's just pretty hard to. You'll do the super jump like the Pino does. You can also hit him when he does the wind-up. The clones will come out and form a row, which you will have to go inside, like, the empty space. Oh, I lost this. Anyway, the next phase, he'll throw his head at you, and then run to pick it up. Yes. I am not kidding. Then after that, the clones will just run at you with their brains hanging out. Next phase is just Pepino taunting you. Big Pepino, I should say. He shoots out projectiles when he taunts you. Then when the clones come out, they shoot projectiles while the brain ones try and kill you. Then the second phase is harder. Way harder. Basically, you have to kill fake Pepino while avoiding the clones as well, while doing the same attack pattern again. But this time the clones have different strategies to take you down. So, yes. It's hard. Very hard. And if you're and if you're wearing the dark cut clothes, good luck trying to survive all the clones on screen, because you know you will not know which to hit. Like the footage here. And then basically, after after that phase. Big Pepino will turn into a Lovecraftian nightmare and chase you through a tunnel. <laughs> but but that escape sequence is basically basically means you've won. As long as long as as long as you can escape him, you should be fine. But if he does catch you, he he does actually do like a lot of damage, so he can screw you over very easily. Nothing else to note here besides, well, this boss is hard, but the next one is much more painful. <laughs> okay, legit, I was actually in a tough spot to choose which one was harder between Big Pepino and Vigilante. And I came to the decision that Vigilante was way, way harder than Big Pepino. He first starts out by giving you a gun, and then starts shooting you with it. First thing is you can just parry the first bullets immediately, and you can just shoot him before he has time to do the charge. Then next help down, he will throw dynamite. In. Then after you can just keep shooting him. Then he'll do a jump attack. This is how he's down again. You can speed run strat that as well. Then a few more phases later, of slide kicking and dynamite. He'll actually throw a bar. He'll actually throw. Throw a bazooka and shoot it at you, which is crazy, and it was very hard to avoid. Also, the ghost of Johnny Cheese is also here too, and 
when he's doing the bazooka attack at the same time as well as the good Johnny Cheese, he can easily screw you over. Then after a few more attacks later, as well as a like a burning thing or whatever, I can't remember what it's called. He then, he then sends out like a creep with like how is it or something. And then like after you do after you do that, second phase you just have to do it all again. But it's probably again. By the time the attacks are way harder. And then it finally ends off with like a Western style draw sequence. Which is pretty cool to think about. I lost to this sequence one time because I didn't know what the input is at the time. Embarrassing, I know. But the final boss is the most painful of them all and took me a few days to P rank it. So, let's see it. Look, say what you want about Pizza Face, easy, hard, or whatever. But how tough it is to P rank him cannot match the amount of pain and suffering. I had to go through just to kill this man. His his first attack is spitting enemies and slamming you. You hit the enemies up to to hit him, and then once he's down, you can hit him and take a health off him. It's simple yet extremely annoying because as the fight progresses, he he spits out more enemies as his health lowers. So. But one thing to note about the first phase of Pizza Face is that you can you can wait for him to do one attack and then he'll after hitting him he'll immediately switch to the next attack pattern afterwards. So I recommend hitting him and just before he spits, throw the enemy up and then hit him and then just watch him do the slam and pick up the enemy from there. Because it's way easier. I found that strategy very useful. And after defeating Pizza Face, you finally it, you, you get revealed to the real antagonist of the game, Pizza Head. And Pizza Head is a is is an annoying ass clown that legit legit gave me a lot of pain first trying him, first try P ranking him. Also, a quick note, this this footage isn't of a perfect run, and if you say you've got a perfect run, I do not care. Anyway, as I'm saying, this this is annoying this is annoying because he can he can he can shoot an Uzi and like a bunch of pellets, but the gun itself has a hitbox. He throws dynamite, he throws rat and baseball, he literally pulls up the floor with a bunch of fork knives and turns them into forks. And then after a certain amount of health drop. Pizza Face just shows up and starts shooting gears at you. And legit, another attack is him literally. The TV from the levels, he throws it at you, which is crazy. But let's say you manage to do beat this part without any damage, like I did. Then comes the last and final phase. Why did I say it like that? I don't know. But anyway, this final phase is the most painful of all the phases. I expected it to be a breeze, not as painful, but boy was I dead wrong. You have to face all the bosses again. A good old style boss rush, but Pino is severely ticked off and finally snapped. So basically you have to fight Pepper Man and the others again. So you can defeat Pepper Man no problem. You've obviously seen the fir first part of the listing, so yeah. And, but he can be annoying when he gets on, because he can miss him sometimes. But you can do it in his original fight too, so what's the problem there? After that, after you beat him up, you switch to Vigilante, which I found to be the most painful out of all of them. Because he throws dynamite, then shoots bullets, then kicks you. And you have to throw Gustavo fast at him, otherwise those attacks will get off, and those attacks are very hard to avoid. We're just trying it out. Vigilante can easily be your run killer. Or the pizza face key rank. He can be your run killer. So after beating up him, if you somehow wants to do that, you then have to beat up the noise again. He, ha he has the randomized attack patterns just as last time. But except the fight's way easier due to you beating another punch. So after 
after after after that part, well, you can just put it to yourself. You just beat him up and that's around it. I don't know what she wants to say. Oh hey, I could have told you about liking and subscribing. You really need to. Anyway, after you beat up Noise, you have to beat up Pink Pino, which is kind of annoying due to it being the third hardest FP rank in the game. Although he's significantly easier now, thanks to Gustavo being like, "Hey, what's up? I'm um, throw me at him. Let me at him." So yeah, Pink Pino is significantly easier due to that fact. He'll do those attack patterns and whatnot, but the sign's different due to you being enraged. After you beat him up, finally, you get the pizza head again. And this is the finale. You come all this way, and you don't want to die now. Pizza head has a different attack pattern now. Yes? Ah, yeah, whatever. Finally, you get the big pizza head one last time. Come this far, and you don't want to, you don't want to screw up. So, so he'll do a jump attack, some boxing will attack, some flying water attack, and a stomp attack, which will only launch you in the air. Every single other the attack hits you, apart from the stomp, which will heat you up in the air and ground it. If you somehow do manage to get past all the bosses and get to this point. Congratulations! You are almost at the end of the hardest boss that he liked in the game. Good for you. I did- I was the same, yes. So, once you survive this barrage of attacks, again, after beating him up, like, beating him up twice, you have to do it again the third time, and if you somehow managed to beat him, congratulations! You have successfully gotten the hardest B rank in the game. I'm proud of you, Sorta. Because I did it too. And watching the final cutscene as Pepino slams Pizza Head into the ground is just so satisfying to watch. And after finally defeating Pizza Head, you can consider yourself Pizza Tower approved P rank. All bosses. So, yeah, like and subscribe and do all that stuff because I'm making new uploads soon. So, yeah. Bye bye.